Hi, I'm Adrian from One Agency. We've had an absolutely awesome start to December. Let's have a look at what's going on in the local Sunbury property market and are we in a temporary property bubble? Let's take a look at it. Well, in the last seven days, we've seen 15 new properties hit the market, four of those in a price range above 700,000. A further 10 homes declared unconditionally sold, of which four also achieved a sales price above 700,000. Now, as we lead into Christmas, we've noticed that our activity has increased with buyers snapping up our homes off market. We secured another two off market transactions with five Riverview and Canterbury Hills, which went live and then sold within 24 hours off Facebook and 11 Plate Street in Sunbury, which we didn't even get to do a live cross to. Fear of missing out is back big time. And the conversation is now about how far and how fast property rises will be. The big question is, are we in a temporary bubble driven by low interest rates, with banks now much more willing to lend, or are we back on the roller coaster ride that's set to the heights of 2017? According to the latest CoreLogic data, Melbourne's November house price rise of 2.2% makes it the highest monthly growth rate since 1988. Now my personal view about whether this sort of price rise is encouraging or extremely ominous largely depend on whether it's the perspective of a first home buyer or an established owner. According to CoreLogic's head of research, Tim Lawless, the real test on prices is going to come in 2020, assuming a jump in the low levels of listings as, pr as prospective sellers become more attracted to the rising prices on offer. At the moment, a lot of people are still chasing not very much stock because many homeowners have delayed putting their homes on the market given the depressed market conditions of the last six months. I think for the next few months, I can't really see any changes that are going to slow down the market. There is an urgency that we've seen in the market that's been missing for well over a year now. FOMO, or fear of missing out, has really come back into the marketplace with a large number of property buyers competing for little stock. And this has been highly evident at our opens where we're having more offers and more people through and a greater inquiry rate. Melbourne is on track to hit a new record high of prices in January, with property values now just 3.7% below their peak in October 2017. The real test is going to be next year, when we anticipate a ramp up in new listings due to the stronger selling conditions. We're still seeing new listings and total listing numbers being well below where they were a year ago. But I think the fact that selling conditions are strong which is supported by our increase in clearance rates, reduced selling times and low discounting rates, I think we're gonna see a jump in the new year. So higher listing numbers could have an impact. As we head into the Christmas break, it's a really good time to contact us if you're planning to buy or sell or both in the new year. I'll be available over the break to help. So I encourage you to contact me if you'd like some guidance and help and some clear understanding of what we would expect of the market in early 2020. I'm Adrian from One Agency in Sunbury. I've really enjoyed helping families this year to understand our local market and achieve some great outcomes. I'd love to help you in 2020, so please don't hesitate to give me a call and have a safe Christmas.